Hello everyone, welcome to Matt Tech TV. I am your host, Randy Rogers. In this episode, I'm going to be sharing a really useful online resource called Pixie Clip. A Pixie Clip is a web-based interactive whiteboard. It has a really easy to learn user interface that has just the right amount of features, I think, and best of all, it has the ability to create recordings of whatever you're doing on the screen. Um, as a teacher, this is really valuable because these can be saved and shared as instructional tools. Uh, you can do tutorials and demonstrations and so on. Uh, it's a really fantastic uh, tool for teachers looking to flip their classrooms, you know, for students to do as an alternative to another worksheet or a standard test or something like that. Uh, lots of potential here um, as a tool for teaching and learning. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, first off, you do have to have an account. Uh, I'm already logged into this one. Uh, having an account lets you actually save the videos and share the uh, share them by URL. Um, so get uh, an account created and get logged in. And uh, then once you are, come back here and you'll be at this point. All right, now that you're logged in and set to go, click on this Start Doodling. We're going to just start with the basics. And... Um, what this it does, this will actually just be the online interactive whiteboard. Now, when you're going to do your video tutorials and things like that, you're actually going to need to add some audio at the very least, and you can also add um, video if you like. And to do that, you would come over here where it says Add Media. You're going to click the little microphone button. If you're going to use the microphone, you may get this flash player uh, message. Just say Allow, um, and then you're ready to go. You would... Uh, Alternately, you might want to add a video to it. So I'm going to do that just to show you how that works. You click the webcam. Again, you need to give it permission. And your webcam pops up right here. And, um, you know, whether or not you use the webcam, it's up to you. Uh, a lot of uh, people that are proponents of these types of videos or flipped classrooms and whatnot say that... Um, creating your own videos and especially having your your face on there actually um, makes the videos more engaging to students I know you're much more engaged right now because you can see this okay um, so what you're gonna do anyway that's uh, up to you I'm gonna minimize this we'll come back to that later but I simply click record down here and I'm ready to go here's your basic tools the first one's a pencil you can pick different colors maybe I want black and you just draw your problem, narrate it as you go. Three times two is six, two times two is four. Somebody check my math for me. Pretty sure that's right. Um, and uh, that's it. You can also use a marker tool that's a little thicker. So, you know, you do like so, whatever and change colors as I said right here. There's also a text tool if you're not completely satisfied with your writing when you're using a mouse. Anyway, so you can type in here just like so. All right, the next tool, so we've had pencil, marker, type. The next tool is a move tool. It allows you to click and drag that text you just typed around and so on. There is an undo tool here very important tool, maybe the most brilliant button ever put into a piece of computer software or website, at least for me. And uh, there's a redo tool after that, so if you change your mind, if you have undoer's remorse, you can put it back where it was. And there's an erase tool. Now the erase tool does not work on text that you've typed. It just works on drawings, as you can see here. And it just lets you take away a nice little chunk and finally, there's a clear tool right here. Okay, so if I want to clear everything, I just go plink, and it's all gone. So that's the basic tools, super easy. There's also the ability to upload images, which is useful because sometimes you might want something like a map or um, some kind of illustration like uh, you know a geometric shape if you're doing a lesson on geometry or some kind of science image. Uh, whatever, uh, it, you can add those in real easily like so. And notice this, you can have actually have the webcam and the image and still draw. Columbus went this way. All right. Um, like that. 
So that's basically it. Uh, I think it's a really simple tool. When you're finished, by the way, all you have to do is click pause and then publish and share. Pixie Clip will ask you for a little basic information like this. You can do a description if you'd like. You have options of whether or not the pointer actually shows while you're doing the video. That's totally up to you. But you simply click Save. Oh, you can also pick like which image is going to show at the beginning or you know, in your thumbnail. And now the video is saved. I'm going to pause that. That's really exciting. And uh, when you get into your uh, account, you can look at your different clips like this. Here's the one I just made. I can open it up. And here's the URL that I would use to actually share to actually share that video with my students. My students can also go straight to my page, this page here. You can see it's by user, and there's my username. And they can see all the video clips that I have made to this date. And so access any of them anytime they need to. All right, that's basically it. Hope you found this useful. I think uh, this is a tool that uh, definitely belongs in your toolbox and, and, uh, and uh, has a lot of good potential for the classroom. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Matt Tech TV.